Can we all keep Eddie? What's Eddie's last name? McLeod. Eddie yeah. McLeod in prayer, you guys. Y'all know him. Um, real tall basketball player. He's part of the family. All right. So my thought of the day today is on freedom. All right. So it's for freedom is a tricky thing. You know, when you're young, you you can't wait to like drive. You can't wait to vote. You can't wait to where your parents don't get to legally have rights over you and things like that. And then when you get too old, you lose the right to drive. You lose the right to eat whatever you want without consequences of like, you know, ending your life. So um, it's, it's just a tricky thing. But um, while I was incarcerated, when COVID first started, um, I would watch the news and it was crazy how people would react that were on the outs. That's what we call people in the free world. We say they live on the outs. So when people on the outs were living in this pandemic and they were like quarantined and stuff like that, they were like, domestic violence went up, drug abuse went up, alcohol abuse went up, um, and most importantly, depression went up. And I would sit there and watch that and it was crazy to me how like, why this wasn't a light bulb that went off, that people weren't meant to live in captivity. So with that being said, um, this part I want to read because I want to get every word right. You see, our justice system justifies their actions by assuring us that the people in captivity don't deserve anything better for what they've done and for who they are. As you would say, they demonize, demonize them. In time, this makes it okay to treat them inhumanely. And it's the same thing society did during slavery, and it's the same thing that any oppressor or tyrant does. We do it with people we don't like, because if we can belittle them, then to us, they become less human. So that makes it okay to treat them however the way we want. We strip away all their human rights and all the things that make them equal to who we are. And that gives us the right to devalue their quality of life. So I think about the freedom that I have today. I think about the people who lost their lives so that I can say I'm free today. I think about the people I left behind in prison who will never see the light of day like I see it today, you know? So it would be a slap in the face to all my ancestors, to all those people I left behind, to not utilize my freedom, to sit here and waste it, to go back and do the same dumb shit that got me here in the first place. So my message to everybody today is just let's all have some respect for our freedom and for all who made it possible. And those who are still fighting for us to live where we want, say what we want, and love who we want. So appreciate your freedom because on some real shit, it's a gift that somebody else paid for, and it can't be taken away unless you give it away. Oh.